Kyle. We got Ryan with us from AKM Tactical. We appreciate y'all watching. We're going to start a new series. Um, I guess we're going to call it Conceal Carry Tips. It's going to be just a few little videos we're going to do about different things with guns and carrying and things like that. It's going to be some short videos. But uh, today we're going to talk about dropping the deuce. Yeah, the viewer specific question. They wanted to know, hey, what do you do when you sit on the toilet and you're carrying a gun? <laughs> <laughs> we can't make this stuff up, but it, but it is a legitimate question because it's a legitimate problem. Uh, when you carry a gun, you dread going to the bathroom, especially a public bathroom. Absolutely. Um, when you do it at the house, you know, no big deal. But uh, I mean, even at the house, it's a bug boot because I carry a uh, I carry a mag too, man, on my hip. So I've got two little holsters to worry about. And when you got to go, man, you got to go. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not the, the best situation, but you gotta. You gotta do something about it. Got some muddle through it, man. Yeah. So, uh, I guess we'll kind of go down the line and tell what everybody does, and uh, maybe this will help him out. So, uh, what you do? Yeah, <laughs> when I drop a deuce, uh, and uh, hey, everybody poops. Isn't that a book for kids? Everybody poops, including concealed carriers. It's a song, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> you the one with kids. Y'all the one with kids. I ain't got no kids. Well, yeah, you got yeah to, I do have two pretty much. You got to sing it to them. Yeah. But anyways, so. Like, when I, when I have to go to the bathroom, what do I do, okay? Well, first of all, if you're in a public place, um, I wouldn't recommend going and parking in a handicapped spot if you're not handicapped. But when it comes to carrying a gun, I would go to that handicapped stall. Uh, and for the one reason that they've got a, uh, all of them are going to have like a, uh, what is that, just a bar. Yeah. The, you know, the handicap bar. The rail for. The food. rail, yeah, to help you get up. Um, and what I do, I simply take my holster off. And I stick it right up there. Um, I don't want my holster touching the ground where somebody is, you know. I mean, it's a bathroom. It's gross. The, everything's gross in there. Um, you know, I hope you're lining your toilet seat with toilet paper because if, if you're not doing that, you, you got something wrong with you. So, anyways, my gun, <laughs> <laughs> my gun will go up there. Um, you know, the mag, I guess that normally I just leave that alone. I just drop it with my pants whatever but I always want that gun first of all it's got to be safe yep. okay it's got to be safe it's got to be out of sight you can't just put it on the ground which would probably be the safest place for it um but you can't just put it on the ground with some toilet paper because I mean somebody didn't look under the stall see your gun so uh I mean I, I I try to do that if it's a one person bathroom those are the best take your holster off stick it on the countertop yeah be done with it. that's what yeah. I do at home uh, you know, I just stick it right there on the countertop. Uh, but if that's not an option for you, I usually go for the one with a rail, and I stick it right there. Because, you know, public bathrooms generally don't have, a, like, a back of the toilet where you can sit it there. Because yeah, it's got the flush, you know. It's yeah. nasty the flush, anyway. Yeah. yeah, and it's disgusting. So that's just what I do. Now, don't stick it up there if you if it, you can't get it secure, because that, that's stupid. Just put it down on your shorts or something. You know, hide it down there maybe. I don't know. But the main thing is, your gun is secure. You know, it's, uh, the trigger guard is not exposed. And I just like, I don't like my stuff being dirty. Yeah. So. Um, for me, I, I kind of agree with him. I don't I don't normally advocate using a handicap stall, even though as a big boy, hey, all that room is nice, yeah, yeah. you know. But anyway, <laughs> I don't necessarily advocate that. But when you're carrying a gun, you know, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, man. And, and I do I do use stalls that have the rails because, because for one, one or two things, you can take that gun off and put it in the rail. Now... I'm gonna tell you right now, that's one reason why holster selection is so important because don't don't carry an outside the waistband holster and just pull your gun out and stick it in the rail. No. no. Use the holster. Use the holster. That's why I like holsters. I use soft loops. I think both these guys use clips. Something that you can take off without getting naked pretty much. Um, now a lot of us carry a spare mag. You should be carrying a spare mag. And like for me, I usually carry a spare mag that's outside the waistband that my t-shirt covers up. So when I get ready to get, use the bathroom, I have that spare mag on my belt. What I do, and I've done this with my gun too, to make my belt, take my, open my belt up, drop trowel to do what I gotta do. Take both of those things, stuff them inside my shorts or pants, and then just cover my drawers, cover them with my drawers. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. You know, not every situation is going to allow you to, you know, 
do you know exactly yeah. the same thing every time. And sometimes the uh, you know the toilet paper dispenser be nice and flat. You can put That's it on a there. good place to take your yep. holster off and put your gun. Uh, you know, you mentioned the handicap stalls. A lot of those are on the far side. So you know, if you do leave them on your shorts or something, you know, there's not that stall next to you. You know, mm, right. for you know, you have to worry about somebody. somebody. Bump it. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you, know, you just kind of got to make the the best of a bad situation. Yeah. You know? I do try to use the family restroom because usually the family restroom is a smaller restroom that you can go in and lock the door and it's just yeah. you like he was talking about. And most most places, especially, you know, big box stores and things like that are going to have a family restroom, especially since we got all this <laughs> transgender, I feel like a woman, so I'm going to pee somewhere. Most of these places are going to have, <laughs> they're going to have a family restroom. So that's always a good, a good idea because then you're not taking up a handicap stall. You're just going in a bathroom, so yeah. What yeah. you got, man? Anything? No, I mean I just you know, like uh, I don't have a particular way that I do it. You know, like I said, sometimes sometimes you put it in the handicap spot, sometimes you put it on the toilet paper roll, and you know sometimes you just gotta you know take it off and you know, just set it on top of your drawers. You know, as yeah. Bad main, as that is, the so. main thing is to stay safe though. Uh, keep that trigger guard covered, stay holstered, uh, keep it out of sight. Um, because we don't, we, you know, the last thing, you know, us Second Amendment guys, uh, concealed carriers need is uh, some moron having a negligent discharge in a public bathroom, uh, yeah. you know, with his pants down. It's you know, that, 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 Fall that's, Bush, like, put two rounds in a bathroom at Walmart somewhere or something? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's well, the last thing we need. That brings up another good point, though. I mean, you know, you a lot of people go to the bathroom, you know, they'll be on their phone or something, you know doing whatever twitter uh you know don't, don't play with your gun in the bathroom that's you know, right don't, God, just put no. it somewhere set it down don't you know don't touch it don't you know don't be fiddling with it and moving it around i saw a video uh one time a guy was talking about carrying in the bathroom and he said um he likes to take if he's in a bathroom by himself when he, he he takes the gun out he actually takes the gun out of the holster lays it on whatever counter toilet whatever if it's a bathroom by himself does what he's gonna do and then he picks the gun up and gets a sight picture and then he reholsters. Now I, I'm all for you That's know, the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Getting a getting a good yeah. sight picture, practicing that sight picture and all that kind of stuff, maybe at home, like before you put your gun on, before you holster up or whatever you're gonna do. But in the bathroom, in a public bathroom, no. No, you don't I mean what if you accidentally uh squeezed around off and it and it went through the wall and killed somebody. Yeah, I mean, you know, as I don't know what number rule this is, but you know, never point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. That's right. And if you're freaking pointing a loaded gun just in in a direction anywhere in public, then you're a you're a freaking moron. Well know your target and what's beyond it. Yeah, there's you know, that's nothing, another rule. Yeah, you don't know. You know. And you know, when you're talking about that, the sight picture thing, when I what I do with my holster and my gun like, I'll get a sight picture like that. I'll just pick the gun up and do like that. I mean, I don't know if y'all do that. I, when you brought it up, I mean, I do that sometimes. But the gun stays freaking holstered. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I when I put my concealed carry on in the mornings, I mean, I do, I, I do, um, I do go ahead and get a good sight picture because, and Lord, the, the Jaeger fans is gonna kill me. I press check my gun before I put it in the holster every morning. No, um, I mean, that's that's, that's yeah. valid. You know, I, I check. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily do a press check, but you know, on a Glock, you can. Yeah, you, you can. Know, you, you can, can tell feel. If it's, you know, I, if it's and 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 the press check for me is just something I've just kind of gotten used to doing. I don't do a press check when I'm out on the range. I don't. I don't draw my gun, press check, and then shoot. But when I get up in the mornings, when I put my gun on, yeah, I press check. I press Why check not? mine too. It's free. Uh, it's it don't free. cost yeah. you nothing. I mean, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's. I think that's you know a good habit to have. But uh, you know, it, when you do get that sight picture you know it's always in a safe direction it's that's not right. you know it's not pointed at the you know at the customer service counter you know that's yeah. right that's, that's the Walmart. next wall you know, you know? the next wall so, over so um y'all got anything else and that's it dude uh, yeah that's really all we got guys i hope this is helpful for you we're going to try to do some more of these just little quick concealed carry tips videos um if y'all have any ideas or anything leave them in the description box below we'd, we'd love to hear from you yeah or problems you need to address like you know how do y'all do this yeah yeah i mean we we constantly bounce ideas off of each other like hey have you tried this hey have you tried that piece of gear and uh you know kind of develop our own 
Yep. Yeah. You know, we don't all do things the same, but they're all pretty similar. And, That's right. And uh, we have a problem, you know, try to figure out a way to solve it. So if you got a problem, and maybe you don't, maybe you live in California, you ain't got no buddies that shoot guns. Maybe you, maybe you just don't have, maybe your friends aren't into guns, and you, you're just the only one. Well, give us, uh, shoot us a question, man. We'll try to answer it for you, at least in the comments, if not in a video. So. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. But as always, guys, like, share, subscribe. We'll leave all the links in the description box to all the social media outlets. But uh, yeah. we appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be safe.